Hey, it's Joel, the 3D Printing Nerd. I was on Twitter the other day and my friend Carmelo posted this incredible model of the Pokemon Mewtwo. And he modeled it himself. It looked amazing. It was full of organic shapes, nothing with a solid base. It was just gorgeous. And I, he was just saying, hey, who wants to print this? And I raised my hand virtually and I said, I want to print this. And I thought this would be a great exercise for dissolvable support. I've got the Ultimaker 3 and I've got the BCN Sigma R17, both capable of, of using dissolvable sports because they're both dual extrusion systems. So let's first, um, let's, let's print it on the Ultimaker. What do you say? I used Cura 2.4 to slice this and I printed this on the Ultimaker 3. It's printed using eSun Glow in the Dark PLA on the left nozzle and on the right nozzle, it's using Ultimaker's PVA. It really turned out great. Let's see, I'll put my hand like that. Maybe you can see it, but this is Mewtwo. This, this is cool. This eSun PLA will glow in the dark, but you have to charge it with UV. So I don't exactly know what that means. But like I said, the shapes are incredibly organic and very swooping. The Ultimaker did a fine job at 0.1 millimeter layer height. It was printed in this orientation, as you saw, and the dissolvable support was encased all over this. And as I was getting it off the build plate, I actually popped the tail off, but thankfully I've got super glue and I've got the activator, which cures it instantly. And I'll put some links down in the description for where you can get these because that's super handy to have. Now it's time to talk about the Sigma. And here is Mewtwo on the Sigma. This is using Color Fila PLA. And the dissolvable support here is from Matter Hackers. It's their Matter Hackers PVA. There is quite a difference, and I didn't know this because I'm not a PVA expert, but the Ultimaker PVA is quite hard and hearty and incredibly hard to remove. You do have to dissolve it. I let this sit in water overnight. I didn't have um, a fish tank aquarium pump like Tom used when he did his Ultimaker 3 review. I just had to let it sit, which is fine. It did dissolve off 99% of the way and I did have to pick it off. But what I wanted to show you was the Matter Hackers PVA. And I, again, I'm not a PVA expert, but it's incredibly interesting. This has the consistency of a sponge and it peels off super duper easy. It's just fantastic how easy it is. Here, let's, let's get this off the build plate just like that. And then this is the Mewtwo. So there we go. You can kind of see the difference there. So this is the Mewtwo before the support is taken off. Uh, let me just show you. The Matter Hackers PVA, for some reason, is like uh, a squishy sponge. And you can peel off nearly all of it when you are printing with it. You do have to be careful around small details because just like with anything that's attached, you don't want to pull too hard for fear that it doesn't uh, stick where it should. <laughs> Look at that, it just comes comes right off. So here is the Mewtwo. And there's there's a couple issues that I did notice and the Sigma isn't as much of a push print hit thing or push print get thing sort of printer, which is fine. I just haven't had everything dialed in uh, correctly or perfectly. But uh, just saying that there's, uh, it looks, it looks good. It looks very, very good. I think the Ultimaker did a better job. This was sliced in Cura 2.4. This was sliced in Simplify 3D. And this was sliced using the Sigma ProGen profile uh, that I thought was appropriate. It looks as if there were some issues in Simplify 3D resolving where the model intersects right here. Whereas uh, Cura 2.4 had no issues whatsoever. Uh, I think that um, the, the color feel of one still looks cool in silver. There's a little bit of PVA still to remove. 
The Matter Hackers PVA I love because it's so easy to remove and it provides a great deal of support. I just thought this was an interesting comparison. I've got two dual extruder machines, two very highly capable dual extruder machines, and I thought I'd throw them quite a curveball in this incredibly organic geometry. And they both did a decent job. I think that the model itself uh, looks better on from the Ultimaker side of things, but I was much more impressed with the Matter Hackers PVA than I was with the Ultimaker PVA. I hope you found this interesting. I, it's rare for me to use PVA up until recently, and in fact, the thought of having two different kinds or two different brands of PVA was just I don't know, that wasn't going to happen. But we got to see some of the reasons why PVA is cool because you can print some organic shapes on an FDM machine and not have to worry about digging support out and scarring the model. Last but not least, I kind of want to highlight Carmelo a little bit. He is an incredible artist and this was born of Twitter. He just decided to model Mewtwo one day and posted the pictures to Twitter and that's why these two models exist today. Carmelo is an incredible artist. I got to meet him in person at New York Maker Fair. Wonderful, just joyous person to be around. He does have a Patreon and I'm gonna put it down below. And if you want to support an independent artist who's making incredible models like this and making them available to his Patreon supporters and the choice is between me or Carmelo, Please feel free to put your dollar towards Carmelo. I completely understand, and he is completely worth your support. I hope I've given you some good reasons to subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of when cool stuff like this is uploaded. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. And a big thanks to everybody who lets the ads play. That really, really helps the channel. Finally, you know what I'm going to say here. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five.